Hi, uh, I'm Claire from Usual Malarkey Prints, and this is... Hi, I'm Pat from Half the Ocean Jewellery. It's nice uh, to meet you, Claire. Nice to meet you, finally. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I make liner cut prints, and Catherine makes jewellery of varying descriptions, don't you? Yeah, that's right, yeah. And um, you're influenced by the sea, I see. Yeah, um, well, the, the name Half the Ocean probably gives it away. It does a bit. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, my designs are all inspired by the colours and uh, textures of coastal landscapes and the sea, the sea. yeah. Where's your favourite coastal place to visit? Um, well, it has to be, there's many, but it has to, if I have to pick one, it's got to be St Ives in Cornwall because it's uh, such a fantastic place and I've got a lot of happy memories from holidays in St Ives. Oh, lovely. And it's quite an artistic place, isn't it, as well? Yeah, it's um, got a lot of history with artists and it's got Tate St Ives that you can write on the beach, which you can go and visit. It's got the Barbara Hepworth Museum and loads of little galleries and uh, lots of artists live there. So uh, you can do painting courses there as well, which I did. Um, I've done a couple oh, of cool. times. It's really good, yeah. Um, so... Yeah, it's a fantastic place to visit. It's a long way from Yorkshire, uh, but it's it's always worth the journey. Oh, cool. Uh, how do you bring the inspiration from there back to York? Do you take sketches or photos? What? How do you bring it here? Because it's pretty landlocked here. <laughs> yeah. um, I do take photographs and I do always take a sketchbook and often paint when I'm on holiday. Um, but really, I just feel that the sea is in my soul and whatever I do creatively, those influences come out in whatever I do. Um, so I've, I've always loved going to the sea. Um, my mum was born near the sea and my granny was mad about the sea as well. So I think it's kind of in my genes. Oh, that's so lovely. <laughs> it's calming, isn't it, being by the sea? It's nice to, do, to be able to do art by the sea must be lovely, you know. Yeah, it's really healing, I think, the sea. Yeah, definitely. Um, you get the calling to go, don't you? <laughs> um, you work in lots of different materials and mediums. What's your favourite to work in? Um, like, do you like silver or what's your favourite and why? Um, I quite like the variety of working in different materials. Um, so I don't think I really have a favourite. Um, I, I think I'd get bored if I just worked in one material. So I like working with uh, different metals, recycled metals. And uh, this year I've been working with ocean plastics, which were washed up on a beach near um, near uh, a place in Tyree in Scotland where my friend lives. So she was picking up all this plastic off the beaches every day. Um, and I thought maybe there's some way I can help her raise awareness about the issue. So I've been making jewellery from recycled plastic. So really cool. Yeah. Is that something you're going to develop more and more? Because obviously your friend can provide endless amounts of plastic, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, sadly, they picked up about, I think it's 60 tonnes oh, of plastic in 10 months. Um, it'll be more than that now, actually. But um, yeah, so there is an endless supply. Um, yeah, but yeah. yeah. So it is something that I would like to keep doing and developing. And I like the idea of turning trash into treasure as yeah. well so um, it raises a lot of different colors as well with the different color plastics something colors you'd never find in sort of natural items yeah. as well yeah some of some of the fishing boys and things are sort of fluorescent colors no, which i, I quite <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, lot, a lot of the waste is actually fishing from the fishing industry right. so there's a lot of fishing nets and uh, like the boys and things like that so yeah there's um a lot of material to work with um but it is quite sad that it's washing up on the beaches it's it's, it's really awful i'm glad you're managing to make something beautiful out of it <laughs> you know yeah. something good has to come out of it <laughs> yeah. um what's your uh, favorite piece of jewelry to make so i've had a look at all your jewelry and it's lovely what's your favorite that you would that either to make or to wear really um it varies i quite like the bigger pieces that i make the more sort of um yeah, bigger statement jewellery. I made a ring called a pebble ring, uh, which was part of my Harbour Lights collection, which is all made of brass. And recently, um, 
the the ring was just a sort of hammered piece of brass shaped like a little pe pebble. And then recently I added uh, another oversized version of that to the collection. So it's a, a, a whopping great big um, bit of brass on a ring. So I, I quite like quite a big statement piece. A nice but, bit of jewellery. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that sounds lovely. I like the pebble earrings. Do you do them in silver as well? I'm sure I've seen something. Yeah, I, I've yeah. got um, an aluminium range and then I do make things out of sterling silver as well. Um, it's quite expensive to buy, so yeah. I haven't got a massive amount of it, but I have, yeah, I do make some things out of sterling silver and fine silver as well. Um, and I try and use recycled silver where I can. Oh, cool. um, yeah, so you can get eco silver. So um, yeah, it's uh, I, I'm trying my best to make my business um, as ethical as possible. So I'm trying to be conscious of the materials that I use and the packaging that I use and um, yeah, trying to, to be as zero waste as possible. Cool. Um, I think I've run out of questions, so you can fire away if you want. <laughs> I've got some for you then. So um, how did you get into printmaking and in particular lino cuts? Because I've seen that you do a lot of lino cuts. It's, it's my main one, yeah. I do a few other things, but um, I, I, I think I just, you know, when you're sort of looking for something to get into and you keep trying lots of things. Yeah. And, um, I'd, I'd been into doing arts and different crafts for years, never really found anything that I really enjoyed until I started doing lino cut. Yeah. And I think because I can't really draw, but you simplify designs down when you do lino cut into sort of the basic yeah. parts. So yeah. I, think, I think that's what appealed because you can just. Yeah. It's quite sort of graphic looking and quite um quite bold yeah <laughs> yeah it is it is bold and it they can be really sort of intricate but the, as well they can be really simplified can't they yeah I've, i'm not as skilled enough to make it really intricate <laughs> they look quite interesting I like, I like i like the sort of um, i like that it's hands-on you know you're really getting in there you're carving something away and then you're yeah. you know, making a print by hand there's nothing electronic or there's nothing nothing newfangled about it which I quite like <laughs> yeah, yeah um and do you I can see I can see it looks like you've got a studio space around you but I wanted to ask if you work from home or if you have or share a studio space well I'm in the loft at home so yeah I'm at, I'm at home so it's not a very big space and it's just a table in the loft but it gets the yeah. most light in all the rooms in the house which is why I'm up here now because it's still relatively light yeah it's good light all day if I'm lucky enough yeah. to have an entire day to do printing yeah well that's <laughs> nice, nice that you've got a designated space to work I'm lucky yeah I know a lot of people have like a, you know broom cupboard so I'm quite lucky I've got like you know at least a table in a room <laughs> to work in yeah. yeah and um your work I've noticed that your work features a lot of plants and vegetables and I, I wondered as well as the printing whether you've got a passion for gardening or cookery as well yeah gardening is my main job it's my day job so ah, I see. that's my, that's, how, that's my main income is gardening 